Good afternoon. Just wanted to share a, a most recent uh, customized action figure. It's a uh, the idea for this action figure is I wanted a um, a Pharaoh, the 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 pilot for the Cheyenne dropship from Aliens, and um, it's based on a Bo Katan uh, Star Wars Black Series body that you can get really cheap online. I guess they didn't sell very well, but um, I think I picked this one up just for seven dollars and bought like. A handful of them uh, just to throw in the fodder uh, box till I can get to them later but they make really good uh, bases for uh, you know colonial marines or female colonial marines and it's just Bo-Katan I, I didn't change out the head or mess with any parts or anything like that all I did was uh, use writ dye uh, synthetic writ dye to dye the plastic black all the black parts are all dyed black so that it retains all its articulation and if you take them apart and then dye them it gets into all the joints so you don't have any of the um, the paint rub scratching away at the paint I think that actually dyes the top layer of the plastic so all the, all the articulation is still there and you can see it's just a uh, black for the regressed parts but also I painted the armor parts uh, olive drab um, nato green and then just did a quick little wash of silver on there and all of the raised portions to give a little bit of wear and tear I'm going to put a decal slide. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe a, a colonial marine slide or maybe some type of aviation patch something like that on, on her. And I did a little bit of browning on the the leather parts and on the pouches, things like that. And on the back I did some browning, but I might need to go in and do a little more uh, silver dry dry brushing. But it turns out really good. The, the color matches. Uh, you know, the colonial marines kind of olive drab. Uh, I love that Vietnam look to uniforms. I know some people find it kind of bland, uh, but I really always love that, that look of all those uh, weapons and uniforms, and that's what a lot of uh, the art direction for Aliens went with. A lot of Vietnam era type, st type things. All the helmets are all based on uh, helicopter helmets and things like that. I have no idea where I got this helmet from. Um, it's just, it was just in a box, and I was just digging through it, just looking for bits and pieces, just trying to get some inspiration. And I found it in there. I don't know if I ordered it online or if it came with uh, another figure. But uh, I went ahead and just... It, it was originally... I think it was... I think it was it was black. And I just went ahead and uh, painted again. And uh, again, same kind of olive, olive, olive drab color. And then did some... Uh, a black wash. And then a little bit of uh, metallic dry brushing. I think I used gunmetal gray. Something like that. Uh, the glasses are the same thing. I have no idea where those glasses came from. I found them in a box. I have a, a spare box of just a ton of little small extra pieces. And I had like f four or five sets of glasses. No clue where that one came from. Um, I don't think it came with bees. I know it didn't come with Jubilee. So who knows. But it turned out pretty good. It looks like a pharaoh. Um, you know, she's kind of the no-nonsense person. I'll probably go ahead and put the decals on there. I want to probably paint uh, or stencil on Pharaoh to the back of her head. I bought some really small stencils, but I don't know if these will be. Yeah, these are probably too big still. Her, so I might just have to totally hand hand paint that on there, which isn't a problem. But yeah, it's the most recent uh, custom action figure, Pharaoh. Um, she's probably going to be the driver or the A gunner for the APC until I get to work on my dropship. I definitely can't make a 112 scale uh, drop ship from the movie because I was kind of doing some quick math. And for the 112 scale, in order for it to fit the APC inside, that's going to have to be 12 to 15 feet in width. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's a living room. But uh, I know somebody online, I'll see if I can link it, made a... Uh, 118th scale dropship and it looks fantastic and this was several years ago uh, on the his tank forms and that thing I think they said was the wingspan was six feet so once you get into 112 scale things start getting really really big but uh, I've got an idea for a different type of dropship that she can pilot but yeah there it is the customized easy to do uh, paint job Pharaoh uh, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll have some more updates coming soon